probably just split it into two parts and then just um make it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it right now. Um. So if you are a super heavy gamer to be for the Switch, here would be the top five accessories that you need. Okay. Ready for this one? All right. Number five will obviously be a case. You're not going to go anywhere with the, with your Switch in a case. Now, you may or may not agree with me. Um, you need a case, dude. Whether it's a PDP case or a Hori case, or even a Nintendo officially licensed case. Doesn't matter. Get, I recommend the PDP case, or the or if you want to get some for 20 bucks. This one's 20 bucks. It's a Hori, um tough case for the Nintendo Switch, so it has armor on the outside and in the inside, um, and it comes with a screen protector as well, but if you really just want to get the plastic screen no, protector, that's fine. There's a little bit harder one, um, a little bit better one actually, for about $20 as well. I saw it on Amazon earlier, um, link in the description down below. Um, it's pretty good. It's, it's less like a tempered glass, it's a mix between tempered glass and just plastic. It's just premium, uh, instead of just like a regular $8 screen protector. If you see that one, um, it's up to you if you want to buy it. I just recommend something a little bit more expensive, get a little bit more bang for your buck. But, yeah, it's up to you, really. I honestly think that you might want to try and go with the, um... The premium screen protector for 20 bucks and then get a case. So Totally That's number five. Let's jump right into number four. Okay, number four Number four is obviously gonna be a game case or if your case already comes with games I will make number four some extra Joy-Cons Because you're gonna need some extra Joy-Cons whether you're, you or your friends are coming over or you just have an extra pair just in case anything happens with your other ones you know you have another set ready to go or you just want or like me you just want more joy cons because you're convinced you need more joy cons um now keep in mind they are 80 dollars um i know it may seem a bit steep in price but if you do the math Compared to buying a single Joy-Con, Joy-Con left and Joy-Con right separately, that's over $100 plus tax. You're looking at about $110 for everything. Now why would you go and do that when you can just get a pack of two for 80 at once plus tax? So you're looking at about $88. So doing it this way, buying it in the dual pack will save you about 12 bucks. Um maybe even more so about over $20 um, that's another game or another um, accessory for you that you can get um other than that, the joy cons let's just get right into number three now number three is going to be something something needed something really really needed and you'll agree with me now you're gonna need a throw controller now I know I'm gonna get a bunch of comments in the video saying, oh, well, um, why do I need a Pro Controller when, when I can just use the Joy-Cons, you know, the new technology is the same exact thing. Why do I need to pay $70 for a controller? Well, look, buddy, if you have another set of Joy-Cons already put on, you can just get a Joy-Con charging grip for $30. But if you feel like going all in on your Nintendo Switch and and or if you are picking up Breath of the Wild or just plan to experience games more traditionally with the Xbox One ish type pre premium pro controller, um definitely just go for that. I know Hori will make some pro controllers um, that are less than that. But the uh, first part of pro controllers they're definitely worth it. They have a Vivo support, it's through, it's wireless, it charges via you USB. Right? You're gonna get a cable in the box. Um, I just think you should really, you should really check. But it's completely up to you guys. Now, the 
Joy-Con charging grip is my alternative for number three. The Joy-Con charging grip, if you're going to get a Pro Controller and a charging grip, that is a very bad idea. In my opinion, that's a very bad idea. Because, number one, why would you need a charging grip to do the exact same thing? Because the charging grip doesn't charge your Joy-Cons just in it. Like, it doesn't have, like, a, like an internal battery um, just to charge your Joy-Cons. No, it's literally just taking a charge, just like the Pro Controller would. Just taking a charge, you just slide in your Joy-Cons into the grip, and that's it. And you just plug them into your console or in your battery pack or wherever. And that's literally it. So I don't see a reason to get that. There's no point. Anyway. On to number two. Number two is obviously going to be... Ready for this one? The Elite Player Backpack. Or a game deluxe carrying case. It's up to you. The reason why I recommend the Elite Player Backpack... Um... I did find out what was inside. My sources are unknown for that. But, I can't, yeah, I can't say. Um, anyway. But my sources for knowing what's inside the backpack, it's just because if you look at the game, if you look at the game deluxe travel filter, or if you look at, like, the highest case, like the $40 case, like the messenger bag, why would you get the messenger bag if you already wear a backpack this all this backpack already has space for everything you're gonna need this backpack also has space for wait for it okay hold on i literally gotta pull over just to explain this okay so this backpack has space for 14 game slots um a pro controller a tv dock cables for your nintendo switch to connect to the dock um it comes with four joy con slots it comes with what else does it come with? A slot to hold your actual tablet. I think that's about it. Let me look it up, guys. Sorry to do this to you. It's just like it's been a long night, and I'm still hyped from today. So it's kind of like. I'll go on um, Amazon and look it up for you guys really quick. Just let Marcus sit in the rain here. Here we go. Yeah, I, I like the Elite Player Backpack. I think I'm very satisfied with my purchase on that one, but yeah. Okay. Here's everything it's gonna hold. Okay, it has spacious labeled pockets for the dock, additional controllers, cables, game cards, and additional personal items for a gamer on the go. Also stores full-size headphones. So, guys, guys, guys. I know. I know it sounds amazing. Full size headphones. Now, if you're a person who has like Beats or their gaming headset that they have, just have a detachable mic or anything like that, and you like using and you like using your um your headphones a lot or your headset a lot, definitely this is a must pick up because if it has space for full size headphones and spacious label pockets for all your things. You know, it's worth it. I just think that the fact that it can hold everything and it's only like ten dollars more than the most expensive uh, carrying case that all that can only hold like the dock, the the Joy Cons and the grip, and then maybe some games, and that's it. It's not even fourteen games either. I think that's worth it, considering that. Um, you know, if you need a new backpack, or if you have a backpack, and you plan on taking this thing with you on the go everywhere, definitely worth a pick up. Because I know, for a fact, I'm probably not going to be bringing my Pro Controller everywhere, but there will be days where I just feel like having, having my Pro Controller with me. Now, and it, okay, now... This is a big, this is a big combination for number one on what you need. Um, if you plan on taking the Switch on the go with you, number one is definitely going to be USB-C cables and a, th a USB 3.0 portable external battery or portable charger that you can take with you on the go. 
like I said, I'll link everything I got down below, but it's definitely worth a look for a portable charger, especially if you plan on taking this thing everywhere with you, like this like Nintendo set, two and a half to six and a half hours, two and a half to six hours of battery life. That's cool. That's about what my old cell phone was. That's cool. Um, you're going to want to recharge this thing a lot. I don't know charging speeds, but I know you're going to need some USB-C cables. I don't know how many exactly are provided in the box. Now, it's a $30 adapter that Nintendo sells by itself. It has the brick sewed onto the wire and, and like, literally shut on the wire. You can't detach it and, like, use it on other things. Well, I mean, you can, but not, like, you can't attach, you can't detach the brick. Now, you can get a $20 Nyko, like, power adapter, and it'll have, like, a USB-C cable and everything. Um, the good thing with the Aki, um, 30,000 milliamp battery is that I don't have to charge it by micro USB all the time. I can charge it with a lightning cable. So, those of you iPhone owners who are picking up a Switch, and you have a shit ton of lightning cables laying around your house like me, I recommend that you pick up a Aki 30,000 milliamp lightning portable battery bank. It's definitely worth it. It'll charge your switch. Set estimated on the total um, battery capacity, 4,310 milliamps. Um, okay, 3,000. It'll probably charge it about six times and you know i don't know if that's enough for you but you can always get a quick recharge with lightning and this battery also does, does support the faster charging with the smart iq detecting qualcomm's quick 3.0 a quick charge 3.0 technology now i definitely recommend it for anybody who's going to be taking their switch on the go a lot like i said i'll be linking everything in the video down below but yeah so this is going to be my top 5 big switch accessories video and my um, impressions and first reactions video. That event was crazy awesome guys. Even if it's out, I definitely say it's worth an experience. Um, even if you already pre-ordered your console. The last one I believe is in Los Angeles, March 5th. I don't know exact day, like I don't, not exact day, but I don't know exactly where it is. Um, but. We're gonna have one at PAX East as well. So if you didn't pick up a switch and you got invited to PAX East, I'd say definitely go there. We'll try it out. Um, they're gonna have it probably at E3. Those of you who know, it's open to the public this year. But I'd say go try it out. You know, it's gonna be everywhere now, and it's probably it's probably gonna be bigger than you think. But yeah, guys, this is Dr. Quantum signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.